All right, today we're going to be doing another GCEP tutorial and this is another one of those flashy ones. And again, I have to say, use it responsibly. Do not overload your websites with GCEP animations. These are just to sprinkle some magic on a website, okay? Without being sad, let's get into it. All right, so we are going to start with the usual. We're gonna add a container to this page and this container will have a full width. 100 vh okay and i'm going to just give it a color so we can differentiate between containers as we add them to the page and let's say this okay and nothing else but i am going to duplicate this so this will basically sandwich our other container that will contain the cards okay so we're gonna have this is the top and this is the bottom uh, of the page yeah so i'm gonna leave it exactly the same i'm gonna publish this and let's add the actual container i'm gonna duplicate and use this one <laughs> for my purpose and this is going to have a color of let's just say sand okay it's not the most beautiful combination but that's not the point of this video right okay so what i'm gonna do is i'm going to open this up yeah and duplicate the container and move it up here sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't uh, you just have to copy and paste that container in there okay i will just delete this so this container will have a class of steps okay so oops not cap so this container although i copied it i will remove the height I don't want any height here okay this will hold our text and the counter that we have on the page and again in this container we, we are going to be adding another two containers and again let's see if this works this time okay sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't it's a thing also let me just go back to the parent container of this i'm gonna set this column to have direction vertical yeah because we want the elements to be stacked so the title and the counter will be uh, under each other. All right, so I am going to add a class in here, first of all, and it's step counter, yeah? And let's go to the layout and justify cent uh, content center, center again as well, the alignment of the items and align self to center. Now let's just publish. I'm going to duplicate this and this is going to uh, be a child container of the steps container. <laughs> We're working with a lot of containers, but sometimes you need to do this in order to achieve some or yeah, some effects in GSAP. All right, so this container will have a class. I will just remove all this uh, justification of the layout and this will have a class of cards let's just publish and let's go back to the step counter here we're gonna add two more containers okay again sorry about all the containers but it needs to be done <laughs> and let's go to advanced and add a class in here and this is going to have the counter title so this is going to be the title of uh, our section basically you can name it whatever you want if you want you don't have to have one but this is how we're doing it today i'm going to duplicate this and i'm going to go back to name this count okay and publish again <laughs> i know look how many containers we have i know and both containers will have justification of content and alignment to the center yeah just an fyi boom and update this and i'm going to add a, a heading in the counter title yes because we need a heading and voila and let's say look at these cards let's go to style i'm gonna look for one of my custom fonts here and i think i'm gonna go with this one 700 oops uh, transform uppercase let's also change the color to green light and set this to be 5.5 rem okay and update and let's uh, leave that open for reference because we need it so i'm gonna go add a container in here let's just duplicate this container and yeah the structure takes some time to work it but i think it's worth it and we're gonna give a class of count container here okay 
So I'm gonna copy this heading here and paste it right in here. Paste, okay? So this is gonna be zero one, and we're gonna duplicate this until we hit zero five. And yes, uh, it looks funny right now, but we are going to be adding CSS and the CSS will do the magic where it will hide the numbers basically will hide the overflow and then you only see the first number okay all right i think we are set and what we are going to be doing here let's go back to layout and instead of having this centered we're going to have them spaced evenly okay and what i'm going to do is add a gap of 60 pixels and this will help have space between the counter numbers as you scroll all right so let's see what else do we need here i think i think what i want to do is add uh, some padding uh, actually margin at the top of the text and let's say a hundred so we have some space uh, to the uh, section okay and i think we're ready to move on to the next step where we are adding our cards and the card text and i also i think i want to change the color because it just doesn't suit me and i have to change this color everywhere because i copied the containers and they all have the same color okay more or less okay still not the best, best color but whatever all right so now what we're gonna do we're gonna close this and then let's go to the card container all right let's change the color of the background here as well yeah <laughs> I mean, you can have this transparent if you want. It doesn't matter. So what we're going to do, we are going to be adding, you guess, probably another container here. So we're going to create one container and we're going to duplicate it so you, I don't waste your time and it gets super boring. OK, and this is going to have a class of card. Basically, all the containers that contain the card itself will have the, the class of card and we're going to add uh, another container in this container that will hold the, the the image and one for the text. So let's duplicate this. You guessed it again. And this will be card image. And I'm going to add a car, an image in here, an image widget. Yeah. And I'm going to simply select an image that I have. Let me just go all the way down because I have a bunch of images here so uh, let's just set this to full I mean you know the drill you know how this go and cover okay and don't worry we are going to fix this so let's add another container here duplicate this remove the image widget and this will have a heading okay so let's add a heading in here this adding will have an HTML tag of P. Let's just say this. I know it's very random, but it is what it is. OK, all right. So let's go to the styling of the heading and let's go to choose this REM 1.1, 1 .1, and let's say 400. Uh, it doesn't really matter, but there you go. We have one card, so you could actually duplicate this and have the cards uh, just replaced because it's easier this way but make sure that you have everything in order uh in the example container with the card all right let's publish this and what i'm gonna do i'm going to simply duplicate this yeah we're gonna have the same image and heading but you know the drill this can be replaced okay so i'm gonna i want to have five of these containers duplicate duplicate so four duplicate publish and this is how they look right now okay all right first of all let's add all the css and i'm gonna add the css in the parent container that contains all these containers yeah so i'm gonna drop it in here and voila there's something that has changed already okay let's have a look okay okay some things have disappeared <laughs> But we're going to bring them down up uh, with uh, probably uh, GSEP, hopefully. <laughs> All right. So let me just fix this a little bit. 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to publish this and I'm going to add an HTML widget where we're going to add our code. So I'm going to just drop the whole thing in here. And OK, we're still having some issues. All right, let's have a look because something is not really working properly here. OK, the cards are working. It seems like they're fine, but our counter is a little bit funky, not showing. OK, let's see what is going on. All right. So I know what the problem is. If you go in the container, uh, we named or we gave the class of cards, go to style and turn off the background type. OK, more bad here. All right. So let's go back. Let's see this if this is working now. Okay, but the weird thing is starts at two, <laughs> three, four, five. Okay, so our counter is having a day <laughs> because there's something that I forgot to add. So actually we need to add another card here in the cards container. So I'm going to duplicate this, but this card would be completely empty. So let me just give it a card card empty classes okay and it will only have the heading let's delete the image and i'm gonna go in the heading here and i'm gonna say empty let's see if this fixes the issue although i don't think so because it still starts here at one I'm not sure what is going on here all right so hmm. i think the one is hiding somewhere there in the back yeah okay this is crazy but you won't believe it what you have to do is basically go in the container that has all our uh, numbers that is a class count container go to layout and go to the height and set this to be zero and boom it disappeared i know crazy okay uh let's publish and i also have given the step counter container uh gaps a gap of 50 okay so we have more space between the two all right so let's go back to our page so let's see if this works pinning and scrolling one two three four five yay and if we add another empty container at the end let's duplicate this and let's see what happens let's see if the the counting changes uh, somewhat okay so okay as you can see it's a little bit more precise so this okay that was funny okay so let's go back and one and two and three and four and five and then boom so you decide what you want to do let's just try to add another one duplicate let's see if it changes i mean it definitely changes something but let's see how it changes so we're here hmm. i don't know if i noticed any change but you tell me it definitely takes longer to reach the the bottom container so i wouldn't do that necessarily because people will think like what is going on what where is the next thing anyway yes so this is it i think this is actually wonderful let's go back to our css and let's go and have a look so you can play around with the values here if you are going to have a different html tag for the heading and the counter you change it here so right now i'm using an h2 for both but you can change it with whatever you want and play around with the values see what changes see what works for your own use case but yeah there you go if you'd like to see what else you can build with elementor watch this playlist here or here and if you have gotten any value out of this video please consider subscribing liking and sharing this video and i'll see you next time